Sometimes your data comes out of systems in ways that doesn't display well, such as product code here. If I put this table into a pivot table, it comes out in this awful order where A1 and A2 are separated. A23, A24 down here, there's A2, there's A201. It's not great. So often you wanna add some leading zeros. So therefore your reports, your charts, your pivot tables display in a nice order. Okay, it's pretty simple. Let's go. We start off by clicking inside our table. You should really turn your data into a table if you're doing this sort of thing. And we say data from table slash range. Now this would work if you connected to an external Excel workbook or whatever data source you have. Same thing will work in Power BI as well. So let's just grab it from a table or range. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is split this product code column apart. So what we're going to do is right click and split this column by a delimiter. There's a little dash in between here. And the dash is there. I just wanted to split it at the leftmost delimiter and I click OK. And it's now split these into uh, product code one and let's just call this the ID. Right, it's the ID that I want to pad out with leading zeros. So the trick to this, add column, custom column. And this is going to be the padded ID. All we do is this, text dot pad start. Don't press the tab key here. Watch what happens if I press tab, it puts text text.pad. It's really annoying. Okay, text dot, and then just click on pad start, open the bracket. Now, if you can't remember the order these items go in, just click on learn about Power Query Formula. Okay, takes you to this page, gives you an example. You just basically search in here for the different items. My biggest trouble is remembering the order of these three items. So here we go. It's the ID that we want to pad out. It is, I want to put maybe up to five digits in that code, five digits in total. And it's not adding five digits to everything. It's saying, right, fill out to five digits long. So if you're going to have thousands and hundreds of thousands, then make that longer. And then ultimately I want to pad it with a zero. Okay. And I'm about to get an error. So I'll click OK. Error. Oh, why is that? Okay. It's because my ID is currently a number. So I need to go back a step to here to this change type step. I need to make this text. So you can't pad out a number. You can't add leading zeros to a number. Okay, so this will now be text, and now my added custom column will work beautifully. There we go. Okay. I will then just merge these two columns together. So I take my product code column, control click, and right click, merge those two columns. I'll call this my fixed ID, so it's all fixed up. And there it is, beautiful. See the 102s, they're all the same length. It's done that five character length to it. So I don't need this. I can remove that. I can move the order around if I want to. Okay, and this is my solution. Here we go, we go home, close and load, load two. And I could load it to the data model and do my pivot tables, but just for demo purposes, I'll just load it here to the existing worksheet. And there we have it fixed up. And as I change things here, so if this becomes a one, three, one, two, three, and right click refresh, this becomes a zero, zero, one, two, three. And if I do one, two, three, four, it'll pad out with one more zero. And the beauty of this, if I summarize this with a pivot table,
and simply drop in. So let me make this over here. If I do fixed ID and units in stock, everything's sorted beautifully. So hope you find that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I love getting the comments. Please subscribe to the Access Analytic channel and we will catch you later. Thanks. Thanks.